to run the base though. Hey guys, welcome to Crystal's Crew. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find out if you're being ratted and how to delete the rat. A rat means a remote administration tool. It's a program or a module, DLL, EXE file, what can run circuit process on your computer that will give access to well that will give another computer access to your files and even control your computer. So how do we find out? The first analyze what I should recommend you to do is right click your uh, task bar and go to task manager. You will check in the you will go to process on the top and you will check in this list if there is a random process running what you don't trust. If it is, I would recommend you this is not a wrap but I'm just doing a proof. So if this would be a rat and you don't trust the file, where well, you don't trust this process, you right click it and you'll see the search in the process and this was the one what selected. If it was a rat, this one would be selected. If you try to delete it, you can delete it because it's running. So what you have to do is try to end the process. If you cannot end the process, you then you will be 100% sure. Oops. Don't close anything yet. So if you right click it, it will go to, you click on file location. And then you will copy the file location and paste it into a uh, task, a uh, notepad. So you paste it in and you click on save. Once you've saved that, keep it on your desktop. Then you open start and you go to msconfig. That is Microsoft configuration. And then you go to boot or what you name it. And you will search here for a random process that's starting up with your computer when it's booted. If there is a random file which you don't trust and it's from an unknown uh, brand, uncheck it, it doesn't harm your computer, then you click apply and ok. I want to give you as well a tip, if you want to have your computer really fast with starting up, with booting up, you just click on this button, uh, on this circle and it will say normal boot up. It only loads the programs what your computer is needed, what your computer needs, and then you can just open the programs what you usually open. That will make your computer like 90% faster in boot up. It seriously increases the boot up speed. As well, if you have a really big um, computer hard drive, you keep saving the programs. It should 90% start up with your thing, so with your virtual machine. So uh, check on that, and it will fix it. So once you have done that, it will ask you to reboot your computer. Reboot your computer. Once you have done that, once you have rebooted your computer, boot your computer up in safe mode. With internet connection or without, that's up to you. Then you you go to that notepad thing which you have saved, and then you just copy the file location again and click on click enter to paste it. Then you will see the file what was uh, actually the rat. You click on delete like this, and click on yes or you just click on okay. Well, you just delete it. Then you remove the you empty your bin and you're done. This will delete 90% 90, 90 of the rats are being made. It's done by Dark Comment. It's a Trojan actually. It's a program what's seen as a Trojan. Um, the rats are Trojans, scanned by my virus scan. And it actually uh, it's really fucked up if you have this. You can see passwords and I have uh, never really had one. Except that someone ever asked me to download this and then if I checked the download it was an exe file where it's randomly and you don't trust it, don't open it. If someone asks you in over Skype, hey bro, why don't you download this? It's a really cool program to get like free stuff, well, free points for a certain game. Don't download it. Don't. Why would they provide you something to get free, free points on a game? It's really crazy actually, so just don't, don't download random things which you don't trust. And if they back you to open it, definitely don't. If you want to have your computer good, running fast, running smooth without viruses, don't open and download random things which you don't trust. Anyway, so I would like to thank you for the, for watching my video and taking time how to delete a uh, rat. Sadly enough, I have no rat. I don't want to get infected, so I'm not going to show you how. Well, I'm not. I, w I wouldn't show you how. Well, I couldn't show you precisely how to do it, but I have showed you the steps. What, how to analyze and how to basically delete it. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Leave a comment down below if it worked. Uh, leave a right like rating as well if it worked. Subscribe and uh, favorite the video as well. So uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed and I'm out.